me snap off. Change the oh, way. If you I range, am transit. Definitely with, You got a flag? Yeah. yeah. Read that flag, sis. Our numbers is on the back. Okay. Hey, I will listen to you. Well, I said, Joe, like killing it. Now, what you That's good. That's good. First, hold on. Move the last one. Or what y'all killing? Almost killing it. Yeah, throw it in the trash. Then you said something else about That was it. What we are killing? Give me Jeremiah. What's that? Jeremiah 1 to 10? 10 and 1. No, no. Uh, tear it out. The brother had a great question. He said, from him standing here, he was wondering if we were upholding the Bible or disregarding the Bible. Maybe because of the way we presented that we raise our voice because a lot of our people are on the corner so we speak loud enough even for them to hear. Read Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. See, I have set this, I have set this day. Sorry. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out. To root out. We're set over the kingdoms to root out. Read. And to pull down. To pull down. To destroy. To destroy. And to throw down. And to throw down. To build. Stop. Our job is to destroy what you've been taught by white America. Our job is to destroy the, ho the holidays that he told you that it's right for you to celebrate. We're out here to destroy the image of the black man being a piece of crap. That's We're right. out here to destroy the image that we've been taught that the black men, the men children, and the women children should be raised by single parent households. This is what we're out here to destroy. We're going to uplift the Bible by doing what? Read. To build. To build. Build what? Your self-esteem. To let you know. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. To let you know who you are. What position and role you play in God's eyes. Ain't God's thoughts of you the most important thing? Think about it. It's what God thinks about you should be the most important thing, right? Right? If anybody disagrees with me, let me know. So we can have a discourse. So everybody's here in agreement with me, right? So let's find out what God thinks of you. But this is upholding the Bible. The Bible says this, read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Although you're taught that you're a wicked, gang-banging, drug-dealing, incarcerated, whoremongering nation, you were told that, ha, by TV, by magazines. They glorified this ghetto life of the single parent household, the mom smoking weed telling you, well, it's okay for you to smoke weed as long as you're smoking in my house. Come on, man. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. The Lord thy God. Listen, this is very important. God chose you. Despite what you've been taught, God chose you. Read. To be a special people. That you're a special people. That's right. That here, that nappy here, which in the Bible is called woolly, that's a glorious thing to have. Those big lips that everybody hates, but then secretly they inject themselves with Botox. That's a glorious thing to have. That black skin that you have, that everybody tells you, you too dark for this position. That's a glorious thing to have. This is what God says about you, read. A special people unto himself. You're a special people. Although you haven't been taught that, you're a special people. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And guess what else God said? He said that you're above. You're not equal to. You understand that? This is what the Bible says. So when we're reading just these scriptures, are we with the Bible or against the Bible? Think about it. Are we with the Bible? Or are we against the Bible? Oh, you want me to ask them? Yeah, because that was the oh, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That See, that, that, yeah. but here's the thing. This is what most people got to understand is that they don't have a problem with what we're saying. They have a problem with what God is saying because we're reading everything straight out of the Bible. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse... No, no, no. Where, where was that? Jeremiah 1 and 10. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. See... I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down 
and to destroy and to throw down, to build and... So once we destroy this mindset, this indoctrination that our people are under, we have to build them up. Read. To build and to plant. What are we planting? We're planting this word. Because I, I need that script where it say, uh, you hear a voice behind me, was it Isaiah uh, 52? Or uh, you hear a voice behind you saying, come this way? You know what I'm talking about? Huh? Yep, yep. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. See, you were placed in the ghetto. You were placed under single parent household. Most of us were. You were incarcerated. You are given the lowest level of, of education. See, our people sit out there, they act like they're not listening. Right? But that's not what the Bible says. The Bible says you hear this word regardless. Right. Read. And the water of affliction, yet shall ye shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. This is why we don't put stock in one personality. There's no one leader of an Israelite. For the white man to assassinate and then the whole movement stop. Right. Every last one of us is raised up to do the exact same job. If one of us fall, there's somebody to take our place. And your right. teachers will not be removed. That's right. They will not be put in a corner. We're out on the corner speaking to our people, teaching them, thus saith the Lord. That's he, that's right. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And you're going to be able to behold us with your eyes. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. And you can pretend that you're not listening all you want, but the Bible says you're going to hear a word behind thee. Say, saying, this is the way. This is the way. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. That's and right. Our God. That's Stop right. being a whore and a whore monk. That's right. Learn what it means to be men. This is the problem with our community. You don't know how to be men. You have to be taught how to be men. Men isn't a physical exercise. It's not to test your might. Right. It's to test your mind. It's to test your principles. Your taught principles in this Bible. Without this Bible, you are a lawless generation. You are an unmarried man, unmarried woman, having children in sin. That's what you are if you're not following this Bible. Where we at? This is the way. Walk ye in it. This is the way. This is the way. It's not in the gym. It's not in the strip club or the 21 and under club or the 21 and over club. It's not there. It's not in cosmetology. It's not there. Y'all know what cosmetology is, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. No matter what side you turning on, you're hearing this word. You're seeing this word, whether it's in a flyer, whether it's on a video, all of y'all watch YouTube. Everybody out here probably clicked on a video of an Israelite telling you to repent. Am I, am I wrong? Maybe it, it might not have happened yet, but it will happen. See, but the fact that there's silence out here lets you know that you all heard the word. But guess what? When you don't act on the word, you don't act to change your life quickly, you're going to die as a young person and you're going to die as an old person. Let's give an example of Noah's Ark. When the flood came, were the little children in the water? Were the little babies, little teenagers, were they dying in the water? And the flood occurred, were there children in the water? Yes or no? Think about it. Yes, there was. Was there old people in the water drowning? Why did God destroy the earth? A couple reasons. But we're just going to sum up all of those reasons under one umbrella. Sin. Sin is the reason why God destroyed the earth. God's going to destroy our people if we don't repent. I'm Eldon Nathaniel with Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC 
will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.